hello everyone, how you been? So, I need to make some tea nuts and after uh, getting my shaper working, I thought, well, why not do the main profile on the shaper? It may be slow, but it will be fun. So, let's see what scrap we can find. Uh, what we got on the shelf? No, I can't make tea nuts like that. No, 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 no. Oh, how about this? Ooh, that looks promising. Go there. Conveniently marked up, almost as if it was put there. Let's go sling this in the shaper. This is my little um, Elliot 10M shaper, 10 inch shaper. Uh, lovely little, lovely little machine. I've not used it really at all. A little cut out of groove yesterday, does that count? Can I say I've used a shaper? Probably not. Right, so I've marked out where I want my cuts anyway, so all I'm gonna do is chuck it up. Chuck it up. Why am I saying chuck it up? It's not a lathe. There we go, we are cutting on the shaper. Only two ways. What did I put before? Let's get a bit of cloth and have a look at that, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> God help me. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And that's, I think I was... I'm not sure how many clicks, I think three or four clicks, I'm not sure what that translates to. I'll have to look at what the scales are in a bit. Uh, let's, do, let's do another one. Let's make some more chips. As I've said before, I'm very excitable when it comes to new tools and playing with them. Despite the fact I've had this for a while, still, I've not had a chance to play with it. This makes big chips for such a little machine. I'll pick one up in a minute when I know one of them's cooled down. It's definitely true what everyone says about a uh, shaper being hypnotic. I must admit, the rhythm of the wood, 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 as it were, like back and forth. Oh, I found it sort of entrancing, very relaxing. I feel like listening to a metronome. Hey, bad joke for you. What do you call a dwarf riding round on the London Underground? A metronome.
Where am I going? Yeah, that should be about right. Right, let's go for a, a nicer finish, even nicer than what it is. So yeah, this is the finest feed it's got. Now. Whilst watching this footage back, I've just realised that my um, auto feed is advancing on the cutting stroke of the RAM. Uh, so, for anyone who's noticed that, yeah, I, I have realised that I will adjust it. Uh, stroke's a little bit excessive as well, but I haven't looked at adjusting that yet. It was long enough, so I thought I'd just go with it for now, just to get some use and a little bit of time, like getting used to having to but touch off and reset back to everything in that. Yeah, just swapping out some uh, parallels and that to cut the other face down the size. I've not cut any profile as such yet. I'm just sizing down the stock. I thought to myself, if I'm going to use the shaper, I might as well do all of it with the shaper and not like square the material up with the mill first because that was kind of cheating. But yeah, this is, um, it's, it's, it's slower, but it's also, it's kind of relaxing doing it. it really pings those chips off as well. That every, like they go flying everywhere. Whole shop's covered in them. They're kind of like um, scale, scale models of uh, Bible Tools Big Shaper chips. <laughs> and baby chips. Still big though. Surprisingly large. And now we're about to tip the uh, compound, the head of the shaper over so that I can get into the angles of the profile on the T-nuts. It took me a minute uh, to sort of work work out how to do this. <coughs> Excuse me. But I decided also to try some of the uh, little toothpicky Japanese lathe tools. The cut welded carbide or brazed carbide. This one broke but I think that might have been my fault because I possibly overheated like the braze, I don't know how hot, but I ground down the tool to fit it into the like, little tool holder that went in the clapper box and it was very very hot And this is me now working out which way the uh, clapper box needs to swing to make sure that the tool comes away from the metal in the retreating stroke. I guess much like when you start when I started using the mill, you always, I always touched off. I still do it now. Uh, while sort of setting up the next cut and that, I don't have a DRO on the mill. I definitely don't have a DRO on the shaper 
so it's sort of it's just like habit for me patching off before cuts I really need to get DRO for my meal Yo, it's getting a little bit long now, so I thought I'd speed this footage up. Not sure um, why I might have cocked up, but I'm guessing this stuff don't like having you grind the uh, sides down a bit thinner to fit. Uh, we're nearly there, there's me now sneaking up on the final size for these. Uh, I imagine there was, everyone knows that the mill would do it faster, but I had some fun doing this, I enjoyed using the shaper. Uh, I got some use out of it, it's simple, but it's simple jobs like this, why I got the shaper. You know, this and like key weigh in, key slots, um, splines, that sort of thing. Here it is, teen up blank, and there you go, nothing special, I thought it would just be a nice opportunity to um, use the shaper, made a mess though, right. look at all that, it's everywhere. <laughs> 